Hello and good Monday morning to you. Coffee cheers, my befuddled sequined cupcake hug machines. It is Monday. Uh, it's gloomy outside, but it's cozy in here. I am back to my beloved bookshelves and our stack of books I managed to read this week. Um, amongst other things, uh, you may have noticed in my stories, I was at the SUBWI conference up in Charlotte, North Carolina. So adventures are saved on that Charlotte highlight reel for you. Um, there's a lot of coffee involved um, and also a very cool indie bookshop. So coffee cheers, uh, also stationary source. Anyway, okay, here's what I read this week because we are here for our weekly reading book review before I hit my to-do list. So the first book I read uh, before I left town, this is Megan Shepard's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes, I uh, got to meet her when I went up for Beth Revis's release party at Malaprops for full speed to a crash landing. So uh, Megan was her co-host at Malaprops and I got her to sign my book. So I, uh, for fun fact, but it is awkward Hallie trivia. Um, I have never stayed awake <laughs> for this entire movie. I don't know why. It just puts me to sleep. It calms me down. Um, and maybe it's a song in there. I don't know. I've never been awake for the entire thing in one go. So I would like to rewatch it. This was a lot of fun. I'm so curious about the process, whether she just watched the movie on repeat, turned it off, and then wrote it, or if she went scene by scene, or if Disney gave her the script. To write from i have no idea but it was delightful also loved the layout um just those heavy black ink borders super cool fun to read um got my imagination going i could i could picture most of the characters but definitely worth a rewatch this uh approaching spooky season so nightmare before christmas also you know i'm obsessed with purple so love that um thanks for writing it megan i look forward to rewatching uh that film because yay stop motion animation okay the next two i mentioned last week were on my pack list uh my beloved natalie babbitt she's so good um i was nervous about reading these because you know it has the devil on the cover and in the title this is the devil's storybook and the devil's other storybook these were brilliant uh think of them more like aesop's fables um her prose is so clean and wonderful they were hilarious and biting and insightful. Um, the first one, like he disguises himself as a fairy godmother and goes to try to give people wishes, which of course are self-destructive, except for the man who's content. Or um, there's one where there's this obnoxious little girl and he's trying to get her to like crack. And the only way he gets her to crack is to when she grows up and has a perfect life, that she has a perfect little girl and can't take it. So um, super funny, really well-written, of course, Natalie Babbitt brilliant genius wonderful well um and very she even illustrated these you see as I flip through trying to slowly for you um she did the little pen and ink illustrations which are rather reminiscent of Marie Sendex uh cross hatching style but delightful so um glad I found those at my used bookstore recommend uh the next one I only finished I think it was yesterday I don't know what time is anymore <laughs> this is Tep let me try again Temple Alley Summer by Sachiko Kashiwaba. I probably said it wrong. It is Monday morning and I didn't read that before I started filming. Um, of course, uh, I, I, I bought it for the cover illustration because it's amazing, um, but also because it's Japanese fiction and translation. Uh, this author I was not familiar with, but uh, according to the back matter about the author, um, she wrote also The Marvelous Village Veiled in Mist, which influenced Hayao Miyazaki's Spirited Away, which I am, of course, obsessed with that film. So anyway, uh, this was great. Um, I don't even want to give spoilers, but there's a little boy and he wakes up at night and he sees a ghost girl, possibly, um, and she's at school the next day and he's like, ah, it's a ghost. And everyone's like, what are you talking about? You've been, she's been in our class since first grade. What's happening? And things happen. And then they discover that his house is built where a temple used to be. And there's a sculpture that his family has been, um, entrusted with for reasons because you can bring people back to life. So, so good. Um, I don't want to give any more spoilers, but also what makes this book super unique and super wonderful is that like, see, see where there's, there's gray pages. There's also like a fairy tale short story in it. And so you get both the novel and a tale and you, I'm not going to tell you why, but so good. Also just again, that beautiful cover and there's stunning illustrations throughout. All my books are sliding off my lap. Is that weird noise? Um, 
the it was it's also illustrated and of course i can't find one right now that i'm flipping nervously for you but just delightful little illustrations throughout and gorgeous um loved it okay and then yesterday i got to read this one yay and also this this okay so jasmine warga uh -huh, um i had not read her work before this is so good <laughs> this is a strange thing happened in cherry hall and um it hit the new york times bestseller list for middle grade yay and the indie bestseller list double yay so um congrats jasmine um this is uh, a boy and his mom works at this a small town museum and a painting's gone missing and of course so there's the investigation of who actually did it and people of course think his mom did it because only the cleaning crew and the security guards were there when it happened and the cameras were turned off so it had to be an inside job and all the things but there's a ghost there's a ghost and um who can can't leave the room where the painting was stolen and this is agatha the turtle who lives in the little pond in the courtyard and she saw who did it and Agatha might be an aspiring artist herself and uh, helps all the crime. So um, this was so much fun. Very, uh, just, it's, it's, it would be a great nighttime read aloud. It's good for adults too, because I am apparently an adult and I loved it. Um, but it was your transitioning from chapter book to middle grade. So perhaps reluctant readers, very short chapters, lots of white space. We did not cram all our words into too tiny to where it feels overwhelming. And even, um, I pointed this out before in book design, look, a breathing page before we started a new chapter on the right. And look, hey, there's Agatha. Hello, Agatha. I love you. So um, congrats again to Jasmine. This is a strange thing happened in Cherry Hall. It's mystery. It's uh, diverse characters. Um, socioeconomic and crime solving and uh, art mystery and it was very moving and touching and lovely without being super depressing. A very much accurate mindset um, of awkward middle school, friend shifting, whatever, so um, and finding your people. So enjoyed that and it, I came under 200 pages I think. Just that. 209 pages or whatever. So um, recommend. Out now. Strange thing happened in Jerry Hall, uh, which is the gallery where the painting was stolen from the museum that is called the Penelope. Okay, um, other stories that input uh, during my travels this week. Um, I told you I downloaded three audiobooks. I didn't start those. What I was actually doing, I was listening to What Went Wrong, uh, the podcast about movie making. Um, there are three episodes on fellowship. Two Towers and Return of the King, Tolkien's work. You may recall those movies coming out in the early aughts, um, which makes me want to reread them or maybe just rewatch the movies because who has time to read books you've already read before? If only. I also, I did start watching Percy Jackson on Disney Plus. Um, they made it to Hades and uh, just escaped Cerberus, but I wasn't really paying attention and it wasn't great to watch on my laptop because it's pretty dark and I had the light on because I was making friendship bracelets or pasting things in my journal. So we will rewatch eventually and I wasn't paying attention, so don't ask me questions. Um, and then this jumbo book I need to finish by Wednesday night for book club at Dear Greenville. So I'm only, because uh, my brain fog, I'm on page 18. So uh, we are not making progress just yet, but um, at least my bookmark's pretty. I uh, made that myself. <laughs> Chaos collage, love it. Anyway, so reading, currently reading, All the Colors of the Dark, Chris Whitaker, um, I'm going to talk about a book club, so keep you posted. Uh, my book haul from Main Street Books Davidson, I thought I'd share with you because maybe I'll read some of these next. I picked up this uh, middle grade, The Pumpkin Princess and the Forever Night by Stephen Banbury because, uh, you know, Halloween and spooky books and I liked the cover and middle grade. You know me in middle grade. Um, I also picked up two Japanese fiction. I did talk to the booksellers. Yes, I'd read every cozy Japanese fiction book on their shelves. <laughs> so I got some spooky perhaps or at least uh, grown up mysteries, not cozy Japanese fiction. This is The Memory Police by Yoko Ogawa and amazing cover. Um, she said it's been selling really well and I'm just already obsessed. So there's that one. And then this tiny one, great uh, purse size book. And again, love the cover. It's starting out uniquely. So we'll see how we do. This is a day of Furukawa's slow boat, but also stunning cover and book design. <laughs> Purple. Surprise. Um, so looking forward to that. I did start it while reading a coffee. So I'm on page 40 and could finish it in another hour. Um, if I wasn't this hyper. 
about all the things I want to do this week. And um, I, I picked this one up at my local indie before I left, but took it out of my uh, pack pile because obviously it wasn't going to get to all of it. This is Library Girl by the also beloved Polly Horvath, um, a, my, one of my favorite living authors. Um, she's got a big catalog of a backlist and this is her latest. Also gorgeous cover um, about a girl raised in a library by the librarians. Um, so excited. Also a uh, short middle grade. We're working on it. Yeah. Under 200 pages. So lovely. Okay. I'm going to go drink coffee and uh, eat my smoothie breakfast and um, remember to take my vitamins. And I love you all. Um, would love to know what story you're reading, loving, enjoying, and wish me luck one more short road trip this week and follow up with all the agents and art directors and editors I met this week at SBWI and uh, keep you posted. Okay, cool. Bye.